We welcome you here where we try to extend healthy lives in an aerolim economy. If you want to get pregnant and you want the best reproductive outcomes, then there are two things you absolutely should not do. The first one is get old, and the second one is get obese. So within the scientific community, there's a clear consensus that maternal obesity and advanced maternal age are closely related to poor reproductive outcomes, including early pregnancy failure, preeclampsia and neonatal conditions. The solution is quite simple. Just lose some weight and get children at a younger age. Done. But what if you have difficulties losing weight or your child was comes at a later age? In that case, we need to find other solutions. And one of those solutions might be NMN, which is a molecule that is extensively involved in cellular processes. I'm really, really excited to share this with you because recent research in mice showed very, very promising results. But before I will start, I need to get something off my chest. Dear viewer, I know we humans are not the same as mice. And yes, results found in mice cannot be extrapolated to humans. And yes, again, I know when you empirically analyze animal models using scientific tools, they fall far, far short of being able to predict human responses. And that's because organisms are quite complex. And this became clear in fields like evolutionary biology, gene regulation, epigenetics, complexity theory, and comparative genomics, where they all have shown that biology is a bit more complicated than, well, if it works in mice, it probably also works in humans. I know all this, but every time I see a research paper about NMN and mice, I really get excited. And the reason is very simple. Scientists are starting to agree, after all these clinical trials on humans, that NMN is just safe to take. Since it's safe for humans to take, it's worth to at least understand the science behind it, because it's really an incredible molecule. So first let me explain what NMN is. It's a molecule and a precursor of the molecule NAD. It happens to be that NAD is found in all cells and regulates diverse biological processes including aging, circadian rhythms, and axon survival. To be more specific, NAD regulates energy metabolism, DNA damage repair, gene expression, and stress response. Many studies have shown that NAD levels decrease with aging and obesity. It also happens to be that maternal obesity and advanced maternal age are closely related to poor reproductive outcomes. Luckily for us, many studies have revealed that administration of NAD precursors like NMN efficiently increases NAD levels in various tissues and prevents such metabolic diseases. Which actually just means that taking NMN increases the NAD levels which had been decreased by aging. Let us start with advanced maternal age. Advanced maternal age describes a pregnancy where the woman is older than 35. Pregnant women over the age of 35 are more at risk for complications like miscarriages, congenital disorders and high blood pressure. For many people it's a given, but not for researchers. They kept looking for molecules that could stop or even maybe reverse the aging of oocytes. Research on mice is way cheaper than in humans, so that's why researchers started to test on mice. They hypothesized that if NAD levels decrease as you age, it happens to be that the oocyte quality also decreases as you age, then if NAD levels can be restored, then also the quality of the oocyte can be restored. Makes sense, right? So they started giving NMN to aging mice and kept tracking the quality of the oocyte. They were flabbergasted when they discovered that NMN supplementation really restored oocyte quality. It even restored embryo development which actually means that aging OOC is not a given and NMN is able to rejuvenate OOCs, at least in mice. Now I would like to discuss maternal obesity. It happens to be that obesity and pregnancy in humans is closely related to poor reproductive outcomes. 
including early pregnancy failure, preeclampsia, and neonatal conditions. But how it exactly works and how to reverse it and increase the reproductive outcomes is poorly understood in humans. And that's why biologists went back to mice again and they started testing. Well, what they did is they created two groups of mice, one with normal diet and one with a high fat diet. After obesity was confirmed by specific tests, they started to look at the quality of the OCT and confirmed that the group with a normal diet had qualitative better OCTs than the obese group, which was of course expected. Then they did something very, very interesting. Took a few mice from the obese group and gave them NMN. And after a while they started testing and researching the OCT quality. And to their huge surprise, data showed the OCT of the NMN obese mice started to rejuvenate. They did many tests on the quality of the OC. And some of those tests showed that OC rejuvenated back to the same levels as the normal diet group. Especially when they tested ovarian weight, adipose size of abdominal fat tissue and ovarian inflammation. And if you want to dig a bit deeper and know how it works, in the NMN administered obese group, they clearly found that the OC quality increased. This is partially by restoring the mitochondrial function, also restoring the actin dynamics, reducing meiotic defects, and reducing DNA damage, and reducing ROS levels, and reducing lipid droplet distribution of the OC. This data clearly showed that NMN supplementation is beneficial for the OC in obese mice. Whether the same results can be found in humans, that's something only time will tell. If you think to start taking NMN, I have to mention that I'm a biologist, not a physician. So please advise your medical doctor before taking NMN. When you do, please go for a qualitative good product, like the one from Cellulim, of course, which is, by the way, also what I'm taking. We also have a giveaway, and all you have to do is hit the like and subscribe button Send us an email. We will make sure that you receive a free bottle with high quality NMN. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and start living again because it's over before you even started.